Good morning, how are you doing? Welcome to the Morning JB Show. I'm your host, James Borman, and if you are watching and coming through, please do make sure that you like, comment, or share, and share. Just fucking share the post for me. Uh, and hopefully I can add some value this morning. This morning we're gonna look at the importance of goal setting, all right? This is a two-parter. Today's part is looking at the importance of goals as I see it, and on Friday's morning show, I'm gonna show you how to create goals so that you can achieve massive things before this year's finished, okay? You probably think this year's done. You're probably just going, just wanna to get to Christmas, and then I can start my New Year's resolutions. Fuck off. Um, and I want to prove to you that you can achieve more between now or Friday when I show you how to do it, uh, to the end of the year, than you can do in your first quarter of next year, okay? You could be in a place in January that you didn't think you could be mentally, physically, emotionally, okay? Instead of waiting till January and going, I'm just gonna wait for news resolutions that just last two weeks. It's like a quick fix, isn't it? It's like a quick fucking wank. Right, so listen. I'm gonna go through the importance of goal setting today, all right, the importance of it. For me, goals and goal setting is like rocket fuel for a rocket that goes to space, okay? It's the fuel, it's the power, it's the main ingredient, it's the driving force, they are driving force. Now, for me, for a lot of people that are not setting goals, if you look at the state of mind of people that are not setting goals, Okay, we're gonna go into it here. You'll probably find that a lot of them have negative emotions. Purposeless, unfulfilled, challenged, coasting through life day after day with really nothing to look forward to, nothing to achieve, nothing to gain, nothing to get out of bed for other than the same work, sleep, eat, repeat process. Okay, it's missing, you're missing the spark, you're missing the fuel, the driving force to, to something that is gonna make you fulfilled, right? You then look at the, the direct results of be, not having purpose, being unfulfilled, being unchallenged in a life that can consume you. Then we, this is what a lot of men are struggling with right now, is anxiety, depression, general unhappiness. Okay, a lack of drive. And it's not just you that's suffering, it's everyone else around you is suffering because of your, those moods because of it. I'm not saying that having a goal is going to suddenly cure your anxiety and depression, but it's certainly going to give you some direct approach and direct focus to help you out, cut out to help you draw yourself out of that rut, that trench that you are in. Okay, that's being created by all of those negative emotions, right? Does that sound familiar? Does it just kind of feel like you're doing the same shit, drifting? You're like that boat in the middle of the ocean with no sail, no compass, no idea where you're going. You're just drifting, all right? But we can have a much more positive effect. So when we do put goals into place, and I'm fiercely passionate about goals for the guys that come into my mastermind out of the 28 day zero to hero challenge. And we've just done this recently with the guys, but I'll go into that more on Friday. When you do have goals, okay, we have positive emotions, okay? We feel like we're striving for something. We always want something to be looking forward to, something trying to achieve something. Okay, and that can create purpose, fulfillment, and the feeling of being challenged. Goals help you rediscover yourself. See, the problem is, is that as we get older, life is like on your back, trying to choke you out, trying to take you out. Okay, and you're letting it, you're letting life choke you the fuck out, all right? And that's, uh, that's blocking you, obstructing you from making goals and feeling these positive emotions. Having purpose, fulfillment, and feeling that you are being challenged is uplifting, right? It's something that's gonna make you wanna get out of bed. It's gonna make you like have a spring in your step, get the fire back in the belly, be the best version of you, okay? It gives you meaning, achievement, and self-worth. You start feeling like you're worth something because you're achieving something. 
You start feeling like there's meaning to your life. And when there's meaning to your life, you have clarity on your life and you feel happier emotionally, mentally and physically. Now, those goals we're going to go into on Friday, how to set up your goals, how to plan your goals, how to achieve tons, loads by the end of the year. OK, without having the victim head down mental mentality. OK, I don't want you to have that anymore. I don't want that victim mentality. Oh, it's fucking always me. Life is so shit and I haven't achieved anything this year. You can achieve more in the next seven weeks than you have done the whole year. I promise you if you put yourself to it. OK, um, start thinking a little bit about goals. Start thinking about what you can achieve by the end of the year. What's going to stretch your comfort zones? What's going to put you in a different mentality? How can you shift from this state to this state by just simply getting off your ass? and working towards a couple of goals. All right, so Friday in the morning JB live show, um, at 5.30 in the morning, I'm gonna go through how to plan your goals, I'm gonna set you a challenge to uh, go away over the weekend, plan some goals, and achieve more in the next seven weeks than you have done for the whole of the fucking year. So it's time to start stepping up, stop feeling sorry for yourself, you're not where you wanna be, or maybe life hasn't worked out the way it has wanted, you wanted it to, that we're gonna flip that. Okay, we're going to set some goals, we're going to start getting some meaning in our life, we're going to start moving away from the anxiety and the depression and the rut, we're going to start being elite operators. Alright guys, have an amazing day, head up, focus, uh, and I'll catch you Friday.